Fortnite just spilled their biggest leak ever, the entire roadmap for 2024, not only revealing the official key art for Chapter 5 Season 3, but upcoming collaborations, even leading up to Chapter 6. Today, for that reason, we have our first look at the Chapter 5 Season 3 Battle Pass skins presented on said key art, so much more intel about what's upcoming until then and after, and even what's happening with the story now or how Chapter 5 Season 2 is going to be ending because of this being shown, so stick around until the end to get all of that and more today. Stop, don't forget before you pick up the Battle Pass or anything from the shop, you enter code FM1 inside here, as it looks completely different now, but it definitely still works, being one of the shortest and easiest codes to enter out there. It would mean the world to me and my dog Charlie the Charcoal Pug now that we've got the brand new cutout, so that means Bruh. another purchase had to be made. Last video I wanted to know the name of this, so here's a bunch of hearted comments on screen right now that got that right. Today however I want to know the name of this, so let me know down below in the comments, and if it gets hearted it could be showed on screen in the next video, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, as after all it only benefits you with us gifting different subscribers every single day, with some proof of that recently on screen right now. Just before we go any further, I'm super excited to announce that 1v1.lol are kindly sponsoring today's video, being the newest sensation to the battle royale genre of the gaming market for your mobile devices, offering fast-paced battles anytime, anywhere, and it's completely free to download. To hop in on the action, click the first link in the video description or down below in the pinned comment to start your journey by selecting a champion with unique abilities, customising weapons and upgrading both champions and weapons for optimal performance. Even more customization allows us to explore a variety of stunning champions, each with their own unique abilities, for instance Midas not only looking really cool that you're seeing right now, but comes with an ability to clone himself, which then can also damage other players, and at level 3 his builds turn into gold with 15% extra health. 1v1.lol is an all-rounder, with dynamic battles and quick gameplay, the combination of diverse champions and the thrill of building and destroying structures delivers the most positively intense and satisfying battle royale action out there. Not only that, but you can experience various modes and join special events featuring top YouTube gamers that you'll definitely be familiar with that you won't want to miss out on, combined each with their own exclusive skins and limited time challenges that you definitely want to make sure you're completing. Honestly, just don't miss the overall excitement, so download it now via the link in this video's description or pinned comment, all for completely free bearing in mind as it's a free-to-play game, 1v1.lol, or find it on the App Store or via Steam, so I hope to see you guys now with that said in-game. Diving straight into it all before the Season 3 stuff especially revealed on this roadmap and everything else on it, going up toward the end of 2024, there's some more breaking news that we need to cover, the first being the fact that 29.30 is officially on the staging servers as of April 16th, and according to data miners, is expected to release around April April 23rd, this being the second to last update of the season. After this, we literally only have to wait for 29.40 before 30.00, the 30th season of Fortnite, which seems weird to say, which will be Chapter 5 Season 3 releasing on May 24. As Lady Gaga is literally about to disappear on the current Fortnite Festival Pass, which obviously will have Season 3 roll around quicker than Battle Royale in a matter of days when 29.30 does drop, this is one of the main things that Data Miners are stating will be officially revealed, however it's already been teased, as you can see Sheena in this tweet had a picture of both Billy and Eilish and Taylor Swift, but despite this being shown, Billie Eilish on the roadmap right here as the next upcoming artist within the months, you know, that Season 3 of Fortnite Festival is meant to release. Data Miners also posted further back in this up new Fortnite Festival Season 3 teaser, the colour theme of the next season is green, which could be another hint for Billie Eilish, as she is known for that colour, and obviously this is giving mad Billie Eilish vibes, especially put side by side these two images of her wearing green. So now it's your very last chance to get the Festival Pass version of Lady Gaga, but the Item Shop version, of course, will be coming back back just like we see The weekend now in the item shop again, despite him being in there throughout the entirety of Fortnite Festival Season 1. Speaking of this roadmap, again that I briefly showed but only really talked about Billie Eilish, all of it apparently has been confirmed and is rumoured to be, well, everything that's happening this year as previously mentioned at the start of the video. Sheena broke it down right here, new Marvel season in August, Apocalypse season in May, Fortnite OG Chapter 2, Billie Eilish, Metallica, Carol G, Snoop Dogg for Fortnite Festival, and a Pirates of the Caribbean collaboration. When taking a look, as you can see, the Season 2 image right here for Battle Royale spans over just past May, which obviously, you know, implies the end date being the 24th, where another key art can be seen, as you can see only in a small, low quality form right now, resembling this apocalypse theme that we speculated to be upcoming for Chapter 5 Season 3. Season 3, as we know, gets leaked every single chapter on 4chan. As you can see, this was the battle pass for Chapter 3 Season 3, then this key art image got leaked for Chapter 4 Season 3 Wilds before it released on there also, and now we have this leak, of course, showing the key art potentially for Chapter 5 Season 3, or what we speculate it to be, and despite it being low quality, Sam Leaks has taken a closer look at this and broke it down, so there seems to be steam trains, as you can see, you know, with the smoke coming out, a new flag item, a new guitar item, and a new Peely skin, most importantly, on the right, on top of whatever this structure is right here. With the roadmap being officially confirmed now by data miners, or, like, huge leakers in the community, such as Sheena with reliable sources, coming out saying such, even before it was, we were able to look at the Fortnite surveys and determine this character is most likely this 
one off of here that Epic Games have obviously you now created, but it's still an unreleased skin. And speaking of the Fortnite surveys, we literally just got 20 more that Epic Games have released that data miners have been posting about, as you can see from blowing the image up. Here they all are on screen. Obviously, I'll leave them on here scrolling up and down for a few like kind of seconds so you guys can pause the video, get a better look at any of these in their highest quality form. But personally, my favourite is either this version of Fish Stick, this version of this like butter dog, or even this like, I don't know, chunky devil kind of looking dude in the top right. Let me know down below in the comments out of all of these which you would like to be upcoming in the Chapter 5 Season 3 Battle Pass, as some of these are most likely rather than just one, considering there's eight skins throughout every Battle Pass between level 1 and 100, and also the secret skin. Speaking of what the secret or collab skin could be next season, as it looks like Epic Games are giving us one of these literally every single one now, as we've never not had a Battle Pass without a collab, whether it's the secret skin level 100 or just contained within it. Again, from looking at the roadmap, as you can see, Pirates of the Caribbean is contained on here for Battle Royale, despite us already knowing, with us having the Avatar collaboration now in Season 2, then going on to Star Wars May 3rd that they already announced in this trailer affecting Battle Royale Festival and also Fortnite LEGO, which by the way, some artwork got leaked for the actual Star Wars LEGO skins within Fortnite, meaning all of these will have normal Battle Royale versions, so Chewbacca and C-3PO, despite being teased by Tom and Mustard, have finally come into the game this time around, and don't forget to have code FM1 entered now, or for when this rolls around and you pick them up, nobody doing it like me and Charlie the Charcoal Pug with cardboard cutouts to show our love and support to our community. Heading back on track, what I was trying to mention about the secret skin of next season or collaboration skin in the Battle Pass could be Jack Sparrow. As you can see on the very end of the collabs right here before Fort Nightmares or that big gap is Pirates of the Caribbean. This initially did get leaked to be upcoming or something Epic Games were trying to do way back in Chapter 3, Season 3 and many people believe this to be an Easter egg right here of this small boat, you know, the one in the first movie that he pulls up to the dock on and is literally sinking, just manages to step off in time. Hypex posted Fortnite X Pirates of the Caribbean is dropping this July in Season 3. I know you're probably thinking that's not the start of Chapter 5 Season 3, considering we've already determined it isn't getting extended now and is May 24th currently stated on the Battle Pass, but don't forget the Avatar collab technically wasn't at the start of this season, despite Korra being introduced as the secret skin, so Jack Sparrow could be the collab skin, or secret skin with his own section and pages, who that we usually see full of rewards every season, and then come July, of course, there may be a bigger event attached to him if they're going with the same system this season, introducing a collab as a secret skin initially, then have a whole event surrounding it being Avatar Elements released later on in one of the future updates, so everybody's hyped for it upcoming. What is definitely releasing, however, that Sam Leaks also pointed out in this collab section, the Fall Guys mobile key art can also be seen in the leak, so if this is real, expect it to release very soon. This is backed up by what was said in the state of Unreal livestream right here about when it is to release. I'm here to share that we'll be adding Fall Guys assets, animations, and of course, lovely Fall Guys beans to your event in May, so you can build your own frantic obstacle courses right inside Fortnite. So with that said, more than likely we can be expecting Fall Guys to be integrated into Fortnite fully for the start of the next season, Chapter 5, Season 3. Don't forget, recently Epic Games put onto the public testing service Chapter 5, Season 3, meaning this is pretty much good to go and everything is flowing as should, meaning further confirmation for no delays for the start of next season. With that said, it doesn't look like we're going to be getting a live event this season and it looks like now we're only going to be getting a live event happen for a finale of each chapter. Chapter 4, the Last year we've been through mirroring what's happening this year really, going through four seasons of the chapter to make it up annually what's going on, then going back to OG and the live event occurring in that, but this time it looks like based off the roadmap we have the first, second and third season key art for chapter 2. With us already going back to chapter 1 it only makes sense based off now this kind of confirming we're going back to chapter 2 being the reality that we're facing after the Marvel theme season which is going to be chapter 5 season 4 also containing four nightmares. Speaking of this Marvel theme season here's what Sheena had to say about it, a new Marvel season for Fortnite is rumoured to be in development. The season will most likely involve the Fantastic Four as a comic book cover involving them can be seen on Epic Games' roadmap. If accurate, the season is set to be released in August 2024, and this is a bigger version of the comic book cover he's talking about. And then some even more interesting intel about Fortnite OG potentially making, you know, not just Chapter 2 return, but also Chapter 1 at the same time. Gina posted this year's Fortnite OG is rumoured to bring back Chapter 2. According to a potential leaked roadmap, Season 1 to 3 of Chapter Chapter 2 are set to return to the game we already mentioned, but then he stated so far it's unknown if the OG Chapter 1 map will also return. Personally, I think like we had a revealing lab event toward new innovations that Epic Games have made involved in the Big Bang, like the LEGO mode, Rocket Racing and also a festival shown off for the first time. Within this lab event, again that's on the roadmap at the very bottom, taking place in OG Chapter 2, whether it is the end event or the device like the image they've kind of used, which I don't know if you guys can make out, but it looks like the device. We should be introduced to some of these new innovations before 
before going into chapter 6 such as potentially an OG mode being permanent which people thought initially would be rolling around this year after Epic Games saw the success of Fortnite OG way back when it you know was about to end and then posted on XR Twitter they're going to open the roadmap and see where they can slot it this year which yeah seems to be the same system as last year. This means each storyline like we have with the Oracle quest now explaining what's going on between the mythical characters such as Zeus and the other Greek mythology gods that have came to the island versus the mortals will flow without a live event and things happening or developing or teasing what's upcoming in the next season in the final days before then the next trailer drops basically making sense of all the teasers we're going to be seeing as well as these final build up changes. With this Star Wars collab of course crossing over from Fortnite Lego and Battle Royale over the season 3 start period with them both containing that desert apocalyptic kind of bio it looks like some sort of destruction is going to be happening on the island and hopefully nothing bad happens to Peely being the current place in the storyline we are where the Oracle says he's the linchpin of all of reality. I can't imagine this is the case considering there's a different snapshot of Peely again in this season 3 key art on the very right hand side right here. Other than that Clombos that were introduced in chapter 3 for some reason having a very short lived existence as wildlife these giant beloved creatures. This was an iconic piece of artwork back then and of course people have animated this or recreated their own versions and one thing that added validity to this roadmap being real was it being recreated out of Lego not only confirming Clombos are going to be wildlife in Fortnite Legos another pull factor for the mode but based off the quality of this that we can even determine from a low quality image overall being taken of it instead of an actual screenshot it would be very hard for a concept artist to replicate something this good or real looking drop a like if you're hyped for chapter 5 season 3 and subscribe with all notifications turned on so you don't miss any future leaks or uploads about it enter code FM1 now or the next time you log on for when this rolls around or the Star Wars event with all the brand new skins in terms of other videos though click either of these two YouTube's recommended you on screen right now it's a good suggestion whilst you're waiting for the very next upload I do publish on the channel.